Okay, guys, I'm up thinking. I just figured out how to do this live thing. Hopefully, it will let it all go through. You know, I was thinking about the trauma stuff. You know the guy that came over and I've been talking about, like, the urban Indian stuff? And you know he how he did his speech, how he came in? He was like, oh, yeah, you know, talking about weed this, weed that. You know, and it's like, oh, and I go checking out his gear. And it's like he's going dressed in uh, a Pendleton and stuff. And that's how the lady at the... Um, the tribal office, our administrator, she only knew me as the dead tree. Just in a Pendleton jacket, and I was like, dude, my uncle Whipple represents that better than you. You know, you don't know me by that. I go to GMT, you guys, it's like, your phone messages, like, everybody back east. She's like, oh, I'm getting to it. I'm like, dude, it's been two years. You know, and I was very polite and everything. And then, um, when I was in that trauma thing, I was thinking, man, all these kids, you know, like, you look at um, back there at Leonard Feltier's place, and I said this there, or I don't think I said all this, but um, to a couple people I did. Uh, you know, you look back there and you watch the kids' rap videos and see how they're living. Dude, their their houses and their elders are worse than ours up in Cobo. You know, and I've been telling them this, and I'm like, don't you guys see a bigger picture? But then they're trying to figure out how to get money out of it and how to go around things, you know, and it kind of, you know, so my nerves, like, dude, have any of you guys been following, like, his posts and stuff? Like, he's sick, he's gonna die, you know, his family's been begging for him to come home. You know, and, like, or, you know, for that guy to come all the way back over to Covalo and be like, you know, like, was he there, you know? Was he part of those urban Indians, you know? Like, what's his story, you know? He was talking about sun dances and sun dances. If you read back in history, because I did take history, you know, none of that stuff was supposed to be used. It's in their native law. It was um, bulldozed down by the government. And they're all studying it down at all these colleges. And that's another thing I told Uncle Iron and the elders about down there I've been hanging out with. I said with our social services, they hid it, hid it under our caring for hearts and another stuff, saying that we're mentally ill if we was on a gnome cult walk, but only the ones that they want, right? And I just tell Uncle Iron, is all those programs and stuff, you could look down at those colleges, those are all my pictures, or those are, are some our other pictures that we didn't want to be put out to the public. I said they're being used. And then um, I said some of them I took from a shoebox. You know, I was my own photographer. You know, we had Mr. Burkett, you know, and I'm like, why do you guys have our pictures on there? Not, and, you know, we didn't give you guys permission to do that. That's what it wasn't supposed to be about that. And we have a, a video made when I think Ben or someone passed away, and we, we made a video, and that was for that, you know, just for us. You know, we ran, like, a bunch of people from the colleges off over in Chico for doing that. You know, we growled with Pascana for doing that. And I was, like, checking out all their grants. I'm like, dude, a lot of those kids should be freaking having heck of money in their pocket. And our 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 tribe should be rolling with, like, bank, bank. You know, and um, not this weekend with these guys down here telling those guys, out, yeah, we're part of the helicopter kids, you know, that flew behind Boonville. You know, and waiting on my grandma's stuff to come through. You know, they said, paperwork goes through, it'll take time, come back on Monday. So, you know, that's why I asked for the 10 days. And then, uh, with the medicine man up there, dude, did anyone tell you why there's, um, saying all kinds of stuff, right? <laughs> and everyone laughed, all, every, Jackson Britton was, he was all excited, he wrote through housing with it. Dude, he, like, laughed, that guy laughed at all, all of us, how people can stay connected and stuff. You know, and I was like, dude, fuck that shit, you know, I went over and grabbed the thing. You know, but it wasn't, like, any, like, big deal or stuff. I told Aunt Kathy hate when they do that, too. And that's how um, our kids will be trying to talk up there. And I report to those guys if they check out um, the Christmas thing. They'll see. And I'll point out a couple kids that was, I noticed I was up there seeing. And uh, they got distracted. And, like, I kept telling Dad there's a couple places left to go. Because, like, we're registered under the headphone kids, you know. But with the trauma thing saying that it's you know, all about our kids up there, um, the mental health and what's going on. That's the same thing going on back there, you know? And this didn't start here in our, in Covalo until like uh, Edna passed away, Toad passed away, Kenny passed away, and uh, 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 Winter passed away. You know, and it slowly started happening too when Uncle Harold passed too, you know, like. So, and I am worried about my family and stuff. And like I said, I'm the baby of the California children. You know, a lot of the Indians won't say it. 
you know, it, but I was glad that I was been speaking to the elders, you know, a couple of them knew my grandma and them, and they knew that we went, um, up to Washington around to the grand openings. And like, if you ask about the last California kid, I have every dance gear all the way here to Washington and the totem poles up there. One of those to tell our stories. And then the other one up in Alaska when Edna took us, that should tell our other story. You know, and I can't wait till we can, like I say, I wrecked a couple times when I was a kid. I have it documentized that I'm um, getting my memory back, you know, but we have 462 kids too, you know, kind of all came together, you know. But they say everything happens for a reason, but, it, you know, two years, you know, just not all those elders, it's just to be mean. You know, and I'm glad my nephew actually getting back on his feet. He was going to um, get a CHP um, license and stuff till stuff came down. And it's like all my uncle said, you know, uh, my dad and them, if they mess up, investigate it. You know, like they, they'll do 90 days. They said it ain't going to hurt. You know, Coon actually only did a year, you know, and that I'm like really like excited about. Not excited, but the lawsuit my kids are going to have for that one. You know, when I called up there and did business, I did business. My Uncle Leonard was my witness, you know, so a lot of stuff I was speaking, you know, I had a lot of witnesses of what I have, especially our timeline of what I have, um, little Jerry and, uh, let's see, um, Aunt Bo and them, they have it up there, so, and Coleman and them read the paperwork and they was like, holy shit, you know, it's serious, you know, and I told the people today, you know, the only judge that's Native American is being, was being sued over there, and the kids is boys, coons, Mom actually went over there to Sacramento and got her other kids back before I did. You know, like, and I went and found him, you know, like, but I'm angry that it's like, you know, look at our races, you know, and like, how fast did that go? You know, like, it was so racial, you know, and that'll save our ICWA program and go all the way back to Leonard Pelter, you know, and I told these guys around here, just, they're just taking themselves a deeper hole, you know, and for Jessica Goodrow to have her cousin living at Aunt Audra's house for like a month. You forgot about her? Ashley Martin? How could we all forget about her? And then they all say they didn't know you? And that just came into like a thought, you know, like hopefully Aunt Audra remembers that girl you left there. You had your white car with your black tin windows at you. Those are your stay at Tony Duncan's and you went and um, you and Tope had domestic violence or something like that. Or he got it or something. I don't know. Um, it wasn't none of my business. I was just paying attention who was at my cousin's house because I was clean and sober. And if you ask um, a couple of my friends, you know, you're the one who came to town and got everyone all messed up that year. And I was underage. You know, you're just trying to like what? 17 or something. So, might, unless we can put a different timeline. But like I said, and I'll still remember. So. I love you guys, and I was checking in, and I got to see my kids, and they got awards, and they got to go to the Colt Cash, and I actually got to speak to my mom, and we didn't have no fights, so, you guys all enjoy your weekend.